we use oxygen isotopes to work out how the rainfall has changed, but also how temperature has changed over the last however many years. And oxygen um, isotopes work because as the coral sits in its little water column, um, it sits in the surrounding water, and as uh, the temperature changes, the more water evaporates off the top, and this changes the oxygen concentration in the water. So, um, yeah, as temperature increases, you have more evaporation. This influences the stable ox oxygen isotopes in the water. Oxygen has two isotopes. It has a heavy isotope, which is oxygen 18, and a lighter isotope, oxygen 16. And so when that evaporation occurs, it evaporates off that lower oxygen isotope, um, preferentially, so first, and it'll leave the heavier isotope in that water column. Um, and same when it rains. So when it rains, it'll rain the, the lighter oxygen isotope first, um, and then that heavier oxygen isotope. Um, and this is what we read. So as our oxygen isotopes drop, we have a higher temperature and vice versa. Um, and it works the same way for rainfall. So if we have a higher rate of rainfall, there's more water in that water column, and we have our oxygen isotopes change through that.